Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Thursday the 23rd of June. We have got, I think, it's only four new mods today. Four new mods and five updates. The Case IH Axial Flow 250 series by Custom Modding. The Massey Ferguson 76 77 87 series by KRKZ Modding. The Lizard Next by Axery. The Productions with a Loading Gate by Kamikata and the Grain Mill Plus by Mac Trucker 921 have all been updated. Uh, so in front of me we've got the Laylee AP730 by um, ARM team. 12.69 megabytes download. There are two in this pack. There's the AP30 and the AP30... AP30... AP730 and the AP730C. This one is seven slots. That one is eight slots, which has that shoot on the back of it. I'll explain about that in just a moment for uh, console users. So under uh, Baylor's, we've got the AP730 at 14 grand and the AP730C at 14 grand. Options on these, we have got Trelleborg or Michelin. Trelleborg is just that tire tread. Under Michelin, we've got Cargo XBIB and XBIB HD. That's the same on both. The options are the same on both of these. It says attach a type standard or with toolbar. Now, I can't see anything that's changing on there might just be me uh, main color anything on that palette design color we can go black and then rim color anything on that palette license plate option two like i said same for the other one uh, but this one already comes with the back and it's also got a trail hitch on the back of this one so when it says attach a type hmm not sure, but the options for the rest are all exactly the same. The difference between these two um, is that one does 120 centimetre bales. Capacity I'm not too sure about. Um, but the AP730C, which puts the smaller bales off the back, only does 80 centimetre bales. So there's a difference in size of bales there. So what we're going to do is just run this one first. So unfold baler, opens the back up. We then go R1 and right stick side to side. So we swing the baler out to our side behind us. We can turn it on, drop our pickup. And it should, once we get a bale pop out the back. What we're we looking at is this is doing 120 centimeters. It's only 500 litre bales. 500, yeah, turn it off. What we should have there. Is a 500 litre grass bale, 120 centimetres long, which we can pick up, move around, do whatever we want with, which is lovely. The other one, I have got on the back of it, because I was looking at the pictures thinking, that's great, having this, having a trailer hitch, having the chute, but what you need is an auto low bale trailer for that to work. The only one on console that I could really see, maybe one of the Adirantes might work. Um, but this one is the Far APN Baler and Auto Load tr Bale Trailer by EY Modding. So I just grabbed the bale trailer from the baler and it hooks up. So we'll see how this works. I don't see why it wouldn't do. Uh, we'll do the same for this though. We will unfold the baler. Oh, hang on. No, we won't. What we'll do first is we'll hook up that trailer. Because what will happen is when we unfold it, It pushes that out a little bit, puts that down. And actually, the, the distance is absolutely perfect for this particular trailer. I know that I'm to put this trailer onto operating position. Then go back to this. So I'm going to start it up. I'm going to drop the pickup. I love all the working, working parts in there. And what we'll do, these are going to be smaller bales. They might be the same capacity, but they're going to be short. I'm sure they're going to be. No, they're going to be smaller, aren't they? 61 litres already. These are going to be... 200 litre bales maybe but they should go onto the back of here 230 we'll check when we get some kind at the back <laughs> so it's going to take quite a few before we get to that point it's got um, I'm not sure what the pickup actually is on this there we go we're nearly there so it should automatically drop onto the back hang on a minute hang on hang on Maybe it doesn't accept these, these, uh, 
Yeah, bales not supported. That's the only bale trailer I could think of. Maybe it'll need to be one of the Adranti ones then. And because it doesn't come with a bale trailer, I thought maybe it would come with one. And I've been looking at the pictures on the on the uh, website, on the Mod Hub, to try and identify it. It's hard to tell. So then that could be a problem then, if you're going to use this one. It's going to be picking the, the correct trailer. What I'll do then is disconnect that, because that's not going to work, is it? Uh, let's turn that off. But as you can see, I mean, they'll, they'll pop out anyway, but it's just going to be a case of finding the correct trailer. It'd be nice if it actually said on there which ones it's compatible with. Um, so this one then are going to be, what size are these? 228 litres. Um, so 500 litre or 228 litre. Obviously, if you go for 228 litre bales with the bale limits on console, you're going to get to your bale limit far quicker, even though they're only 228 litres. The other one does 500 litre bales, so, you, you know, more bang for your buck kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, they're nice looking uh, balers, and they do the job. It'll just be a case of finding the correct trailer that works with that. I did have a quick look through, and I, I wasn't 100% certain what auto load ones would work with that. And it was like hours going through them all to find them. But anyway, yeah, nice trailer. Uh, nice trailer, nice baler. Does the job. I didn't even unfold that one, did I? Should have done that. I mean, it still worked, to be fair. But I should have put it out to the side. But, you know. Well, regardless, it worked. That's the Lely AP730 by ARM team. Next, also under balers, we've got the Class Roland 250 Rotocut. This is by Soto Modding Industries. Um, this is 5.47 megabytes download, six slots on console. It only does 125 centimeter bales, so there's no option for doing any different bale sizes. Um, plus, I'll say this again, um, I do have people asking me, because um, straw, grass, hay, um, and silage bales all do different capacities depending on the size you do, they're all different. So as on, you know, FS19 was 4,000 litre bales, and then some would do slightly larger, some modded ones. There are so many different bale types now. So all I'll do is a grass one, but you can just, you'll see the baler in operation. Uh, before we do that, though, uh, we need to go to balers. It's actually pretty cheap, considering what we've got around baler there. 48, oh, it's not too bad. How much is that one there? 57.5. It's only 25 grand. Yeah, 25 grand for the Roto Cup. Slot count will come down from 6 to 1 for any subsequent duplicate. Uh, rim colour, red or metallic grey, which I think I went for. Licence plate option 2, if you want a licence plate. So what we'll do is, it comes like that. That's it folded. To unfold it, it puts the wheels at the front for the pickup. Turn it on, drop it down. We do also have the option for automatic drop, which I've got on at the moment. You still have to stop, but it will automatically drop them when it gets to a full one. So let's see how large a grass bale is. Nice animations, does the job, not too expensive, it's, you know. So we get to there, yes, you can see, I hit the limit, 3,500 litres. It dropped it off, but I carried on going because I was too busy watching the animations. And what I need to do is keep an eye down to my right. And when we get to nearly 3,500. Back up a little bit. Let that drop off. Nice animations on the inside. So if I turn that to automatic drop off. And we get to full. I need to unload myself, L1 and Triangle. We'll drop off and L1 and Triangle again. So you can see we're having the automatic drop. It makes life a lot easier. I know on previous maps and I've done Let's Plays and I've done round bales like this. Um, I think Marwell Manor was one of them. And I spent hours doing some round bailing and it was that constant, you know, L1 Triangle, L1 Triangle, go forward, L1 Triangle. So having the automatic drop, you do have to stop, but it just... <laughs> Saves your fingers a little bit. Um, but there you go. That's the class Roland 250 Roto Cut by Soto Modding Industries. Very nice. 3,500 litre bales for grass. Obviously, other bale types will differ. 
Moving on. We've got this, the Husqvarna Enduro Pack. This is by Farm Centro Sul. 12.65 megabytes download. We've got the TE, which is nine slots, and the FE, which is also nine slots. The TE is a two-stroke. The FE is a four-stroke. And they, they do sound considerably different. Some nice options on these as well. They do look very good. Um, you'll find these under vehicles. I think these are under cars. Yeah. So the TE, the two-stroke, is 18 grand. Interestingly, the four-stroke is cheaper. Hmm. So used to hearing that, the scooters and stuff around where I live, all these youngsters, all, all the young young kids, um, youths, out on their 50cc scooters, whizzing up and down. It all sounds, sounds the same. Uh, so, options on this. We've got design one now. This is for the exhaust. So we've got design one. Design 2, Design 3, Design 4, back to Design 1. Hand protectors, yes or no? Headlight, yes or no? Engine setup, 51 horsepower, 54 horsepower. Those are the two options on that. Uh, hub colour, changes the hub colour. Main colour, does all of that. Secondary colour, let's go for, what did I go for before? Let's go for blue. Does those bits. Gauntlet colour, and this is for the hand grips, not necessarily gauntlets, but uh, let's go for pink. There you go. And then seat colour. I mean, it's on black at the moment. You can go for a leather seat if you want to be fancy. Um, and then rim colour. It's on metallic silver. We've got some other metallics. There's a chrome there if you want chrome. I think I went metallic silver on the two stroke, and I think I went chrome on the four stroke, pretty sure. Uh, the options are the same on both of them, other than on this one. The well, actually, no, they're not. I'll be honest. The exhausts are different. So the exhaust on this design one, two, three. There's not four, but there's three exhaust options on this one. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, and the engine size as well is 46 horsepower or 63. So the other one's 51, 57. This is 43, no, 46 or 63. And then all the rest of the uh, options for colours and stuff are exactly the same. So let's hop onto this one. You'll hear it. A little ning, 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 that kind of little... So you know what, you can get some lean on this as well, look. Keep it going. Oh man, that's actually quite cool. Yeah, you can get some proper lean on it, can't you? 62 miles an hour. There's no horn, though. But we do have light. If you go for the light option, it has got on and kind of main beam. And then we'll have a go on the four stroke as well. We'll have a bang on that. Come for a light on this one as well. Very different in engine sound. Let's get a bit of speed up. See if we can do. See if we can't do a jump. I don't know if we will be able to. Oh, that wasn't good. That was a bit steep for a jump. Although, look, a bit of a wheelie. Oh, I like that. That was quite cool. Nice bit of movement on the suspension arms and stuff. That's very cool. So there we go. That's the Husqvarna Enduro Pack by Farm Centro Sul, which brings us on to the last of the mods for today. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to finish this mod review and then I'm going to drop a load more mods, <laughs> which will freak me out. Oh, never mind. Anyway, we've got the Fiat X70 series. This is by SMI Modding Team. 17.98 megabytes download. The four-wheel drive is 11 slots. The two-wheel drive is also 11 slots uh, with a few different options, as you can see on them. Nice, tidy machines. I think oh, they both go up to 100 horsepower. Pretty sure they do. So, uh, you'll find these under small tractors. 
The two, sorry, the four wheel drive first is 23 grand for the base model. We've got the option of uh, configuration standard, 130 kilo weight, that's kind of the weight frame. Then we go up through the weights to 530, then off completely. We've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Continental, BKT, back to Trelleborg. And the Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Continental, BKT, and back again. Uh, then we've got the option of long pipe, short pipe, open 45 degree or 90 degree bend on the pipe. That's a long pipe. Cabin layout, we've got arch protection, canopy or arch protection and canopy or off. And then on the back, we've got attaches. We've got an original attacher or a modern attacher. Attachment. Uh, engine setup, 57 horsepower, 67 horsepower or 100 horsepower. 670 pumped. Uh, main colour, we've got orange or Fiat Agri Red. And then we've got license plate option on there too. So for the two wheel drive, 20 grand for the base model. We've got the configuration options, standard, and the same with the weights on this one, all the way up to 530 and off again. Uh, Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Continental, BKT, back again. Uh, this one has got slightly different options. We've got standard, wide, narrow. Actually, they might not be. It's just it doesn't change the front ones. Michelin, Midas, yeah, pretty much the same. Continental, BKT, yeah, back to Trelleborg. Same with the rest, long pipe, short pipe, open, 90 degree. Cabin layout, arch protection, canopy, both. Original attaches, modern attaches, engine, horsepower, 57, 67, 100. Main colour, licence plate, yeah, pretty much the same. Let's hop into this one, start it up, the four wheel drive. Went for some chunky tyres. What I do like actually, if look down here, turn the engine off, is the handbrake and stuff there. When you turn it on, handbrake off, first person. Get us up to 20 mile an hour pretty quickly. Lights. Does have a beacon. Horn. It's actually the cheapest chips, you know, you put it up to the 100 horsepower. It's one of those nice little kind of shunting machines you can have doing whatever you want around the yard. If you've got small machinery, small map, small fields, there's plenty of small machinery that a vehicle like this will work absolutely perfectly for. And then we've got the two-wheel drive version. Pretty much the same. Lights, vegan. And that's it for the mods. There are two maps out today. We have got a conversion over from FS19. We've got Wilhelmina 22 by Poor Boy and Catalyzer Industries. And we've got a new map, completely new map, East Vineland, New Jersey, United States of America. That's by Mac Trucker 921. Um, we're looking at the description for East Vineland, and it is extensive. Um, that's going to be a minefield to do a map tour on. I will get on with it as soon as I can. Uh, try and get it done today. Uh, also, a heads up, uh, tomorrow, depending on what happens with mods dropping, I am heading off. It's Silly G's birthday, uh, and we are heading away for a few days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, back Wednesday, I think. So I'll try to get mod reviews and stuff done tomorrow. Uh, over the weekend there won't be anything, a Monday, Tuesday, potentially Wednesday, depends what time we get home. Um, just to let you know, if people will often ask if I don't put up mod reviews on certain days, am I doing a mod review, where am I, what's happened? I think people think I drop off the face of the earth, so just a heads up on that. I will try and get the map tours done ASAP. If I don't get to them, apologies for that, but I will try my best. So uh, that's it for the mods for today, Thursday 23rd of June. 
I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. And if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.